Hi, this is a tutorial that will help you and your child get started with Seesaw. If you are a pre-K student, you need to use the home access code to access Seesaw. This will be provided by your teacher, probably in an email. If you are in K through five, you can use ClassLink to get to Seesaw or you can use the home access code provided by your teacher. If you need to use the home learning code to access Seesaw, your teacher will provide you with an instruction sheet. Please be careful with this sheet. It is a passcode and will allow anyone who has access to it access to your student's account. To sign into Seesaw through ClassLink, go to ClassLink as normal and sign in as normal. When the menu opens, choose Seesaw. Note, your student's ClassLink may look different than the example shown here. If Seesaw prompts you for sign-in, use the same sign-in you used for ClassLink. Otherwise, you can go to app.seesaw.me and select sign in as a student and use your home access code. This is the view from both a mobile device and computer. Very clearly, students can see the activities that they have waiting for them and any messages the teacher might have sent them. To open an activity is easy. On a mobile device, tap the green plus sign. On a computer, click Add Response and begin to work on the activity. Seesaw has many tools for students to complete activities. In this activity, students write or draw their answers. In order to do that, along the left-hand side, they can tap the T so they can type. They can use voice and screen record. They can video or take a picture or they can add shapes and change backgrounds. Down below, you'll see the tools for writing. There's a pencil, a marker, a highlighter, a sparkle, pen, and an eraser. To the right, you can slide that button up and down to get a variety of different colors. Once the student has finished their work, they'll need to tap the green check mark in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Sometimes they'll need to approve their work and tap it a second time. Something really important to remember about Seesaw is that there is very rarely one correct way of completing an assignment. And as students explore and get familiar with this tool, they will want to do many of the different activities and use many of the different tools and that is fine. On the journal page, students can see the work that they've already turned in and any journals that they have posted. Seesaw provides a variety of journal activities. Students can explore all of these activities by clicking on the green plus symbol on their journal page. They can add photos or videos, they can draw, they can upload, they can add notes and they can hyperlink. Please reach out to your student's teacher if you have any questions. Also, the help section of the Seesaw app or the webpage is an excellent resource. Thank you.